this is Bigfoot's pad. It is July 14th, 2017, and over in southern Utah. At this site, right now we're at the mass grave. Right beneath our feet, there's 120 men, women, and children buried. These people were murdered in cold blood by a bunch of Indians and uh, several militiamen that were hired by, the, by a high-ranking Mormon in the Mormon church. And these people were slaughtered and robbed. But it's okay, so we're starting the ghost hunt. It's about midnight. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, I think this has a potential to be a pretty active night. We're going to just come here and hit it real quick and see what we get. Turn on the ovulus. I have got nothing yet, but we really haven't gone through here too much. So uh, hopefully we get a good night. It is July 14th, 2017. This is at the Mountain Mormon Massacre. And right now we are at the mass grave site where there's 120 Arkansas travelers buried here. Is there anybody here that wants to speak with us? Are there any families of people that were murdered around here? There's someone here, a restless spirit that's not at peace, that wants to make its presence known. Hold it out like this, Nick. What year were you born? What happened when you died? Are there any children out here? Did you die defending your family? Is there a reason why you're here? If there's anyone here, please speak into the obelisk so that we can hear you. That's why I have it turned on in order for you to speak to us. I also try the EMF at the same time, Nick, if you want. He's holding the button, right, Tim? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's wrong what they did to you. You didn't deserve that. We're here to talk. If you have something to say, please talk to us. Unless you turn the ovulus off and on again, Nick, just to make sure it's on. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, Let's press the left button. Okay. I'm just gonna make one uh, sweet lap here. I'm turn it in a little bit. Are there any Mormons around here? Looked like that was flashing. That was me. Maybe for like one second, it might have been something else playing with my finger. Who's the? What's it? What? Is that a bat or something? Like yeah, it's a bat. Oh, those are bats. Thought it was a falling star or some shit. Someone talked to me here. I'm walking. I'm gonna go into your grave next. Do you get a lot of visitors here? Can you make your presence known to us? Nick's back at the front. We're just making a lap around. Susan, 
an original um, plaque here. The original monument at this site was established the U.S. Army in 1859. Military officials marked some of the other burial sites in the valley with simple stone chains or cairns. 1932, the Utah Trails and Landmarks Association. So the original marker is the one in the center. You mm -hmm. hear that, Nick? Yeah. This is the original monument from the 1800s, this big thing in the middle. And this thing around here was built after that. So what are you doing, Tim? I'm um, sitting right here. There's a memorial plaque. It says, Here lie 29 victims of the Mountain Meadow Massacre. It says, Here lie 29 victims of the Mountain Meadows Massacre. Nick's around the corner here. You wanna? We'll go see what Nick's doing. We're gonna come visit you for a second, Nick. What are you doing, Nick? Tell the camera. I'm just, I'm just saying like a little prayer and just kind of talking to the spirits and telling them we're here to respect their memory and just try to see if any of them will, will talk to us because I mean it, it is a tragic in a way they died and um, their remains were moved around a little bit. And that was weird. Is that you? Did you get that on film, Jay? The noise? Yep. I it think so. Like a rock was like... Yeah, it's not like a rock was actually moved. A rock like fell down the... Hey Tim, get in the frame with Nick real quick. So... Just for the camera, so we could get caught up here. What did both of you guys hear? Or what did you guys experience? Well, Nick was just saying a prayer to the spirits, kind of being respectable to them. And next thing you know, there's something like a rock either fell down or may have moved around here. This is the original monument from the 1800s. All these rocks you see right here. Yeah, it, it, uh, it was clearly... Some loose rock fell from the top of the uh, the mound the mound over here. I mean, I, I can't say what the cause was, but it was odd that I was trying to talk to the spirits, and then a rock fell down the uh, the mound when I was asking for a sign. Why don't you hand the obelus to Tim Nick and see if he yeah. could sense? Since Nick's not having very much luck here, Nick, take the recorder. Try to do some EVPs while Tim does the obulus. Okay. Maybe Tim will have some better luck. Yeah, maybe we'll be more attracted to Tim. Hey guys, we're here. I just want to talk to you guys. We mean no disrespect. I just want to say that it was pretty messed up what happened to you guys, and you didn't deserve it. You know, I'm just here to talk, so if you have anything at all to say please talk in this device in my hand it will actually tell me what you're trying to tell oh, well, that's flashing pretty good just for the audience let me zoom into that hold that Tim when the light on this blinks fast the faster this light blinks it's picking up an EMF signal which means that something is trying to talk to us and as you could see the lights going pretty good at the moment What is your name, everyone? What were your last thoughts when you heard the gunshot start ringing out? What are your feelings about what happened? Where were you traveling to when you were murdered? Come on guys, talk to us please.
The light's going pretty good, but so far we have no voices on the obulus. So when you died, and the bullets hit you, was it like this? Or was it this? I see, I was playing nice before, and I'm, I'm still respectful of it, but... I just wanted a conversation, so now I'm trying to stir you up now, so you'll talk to us. Because we're going to be leaving this site soon and going to the next one. This may be the last time you ever get to talk to us or deliver a message to your loved ones on the other side. So we demand you say something, please. If you want us gone, just tell us. We'll be gone. One word's all it's going to take, guys. Come on, guys. And girls. So, do either one of you feel anything, or do you sense anything? No. Not right now. The only thing is, I thought I heard two footsteps out there, but who knows. That was like when... A couple minutes ago. You guys are buried beneath us. I know that wasn't right what they did to you. You didn't get a true proper burial, just kind of thrown in a mass grave. You want to film a couple yeah. minutes of video out here? Yeah, yeah, I just started recording right now. Alright, rabbit, but. Okay. So. Right now, we are in the heart of where the battle was going on. There was at least a few dozen people murdered right at this spot that we're standing on right now. We're headed to the siege site, which is where the killers were actually shooting at the travelers. And that's how far we are from the memorial, on the grave site. I can see why they call it the Meadow Massacre. There's no trees or anything around here. Can't really tell. I see there's a sign way out there. Are there any people here that want to talk to us? I'm not sure if we could hear it over the gravel. Well, the jump. obvious you can. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's on, it's on the obvious. Bro. You don't have to film right now if you don't want to. We're just trying to see if we got any, any... Were you sh shot out here? Is there a reason why you won't talk to us? Are you a Christian? Blinking faster and faster. Can you stop here real quick? This thing's blinking pretty quick right now. Is there anyone here around us? Got that weird spider web feeling. Are you trying to tell us something or lure us somewhere? Come on, guys. We're trying to keep your memory alive and your legacy alive. A lot of people don't know about you. We're trying to bring awareness. So please help us with our cause and your cause. Can you say one of our names? I'm both of Nothing interesting happened here anyway. Yeah. I don't think there's anything going on really. 
Two dead people, it happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, we got better stuff back at the, uh... Our last place. Or is it a, a dude really said more to say than you guys? The light was blinking pretty fast back there at that turn. Let's see what this says. In honor of those who rest in this field, they were innocent and died as unjust. They were defending their friends and families who buried them before leaving the protection of their camp. To the other victims of the mountain, what's this say? You read it for the camera, too? Oh. Or it's okay. I could you want me to read the big one? It. No, well, this is a poem written by in honor of Milam Lafayette Rush by Billy Hightower who's one of uh, their descendants it says echoes of a distant past can be heard throughout these meadows the sounds of innocent victims which will never be forgotten each life was more than just a name inscribed on a monument they were loving family, mem family members friends and neighbors the story of their lives should be recorded shared and cherished and we must share these stories of our forefathers that will forever last not only for our ancestors past of long ago, but for all of our descendants to come. For we cannot live our future without looking at our past. Every joy and sorrow, every triumph and loss bears witness to their struggles. These lives will never be lived in vain. They will forever live in our hearts. And that's a poem by Billy Hightower, descendant of this. Do you think that this. they were hiding up in these hills, shooting at them all around here? Or do you think maybe this, this is a good ambush spot right here? Do you think here. this trail right here wraps around somewhere? Do wrap you think we should try it here? Or we yeah, can... I think you can walk the trail a little bit. If it goes on, because it looked like it might go to that sign that's way the hill. So people were murdered all throughout this meadow. Yeah. It wasn't just this little spot at all throughout here. Yeah, there's people buried in these. Uh, Some people are buried out in the fields around here. Yeah, they're unlocked graves. Come on, guys. Whoever's. Miss, Mr. Mr. Rush, I, I, Mr. Lafayette, or Miss Lafayette, you're a man or a woman? Millen, Millen Lafayette, are you a man or a woman? I just read that poem dedicated to you, which is beautiful. I had descended. I really loved it. Are you, are you with us right now? Please, talk to us. I want to keep your memory alive. Can you see the mountains around here, Tim, on your camera? I mean, it's a little dark in the turn my light. These mountains around us in the background, I don't know if you could see it on the camera. Not too much, but I'll try to get Speaking it. Speaking of hills, it's a good ambush spot. I'm trying to you get it to focus. I was going to tell the camera like, what we were doing. Oh. Or somebody should. That way they wonder where we're There we go. So it's like a mixture of desert brush and weeds on this side. And on this side, there's an actual meadow and tall prairie grass where all those poor innocent people died. You can see that beautiful memorial, the first one we were at. I'm thinking they were probably up in all these hills shooting. Yeah, so these hills are actually... You're going to shoot some... Yeah, there's a signpost or something up ahead. Yeah. Are there any of the killers out here with us? Hey, evil fucking sons of the bitches. Oh, yeah, you want to talk about scum? Kill all those innocent men, women, and children. Look up ahead, is right in the middle of the meadow. I think this would be a good spot around, somewhere around all these trees and whatnot. Okay. 200 yards, you may as well go to it. Yeah. These trees look like there's a good spot to do some filming. Are you filming right now, sir? Yeah. So maybe the battle site is bigger than we thought. Yeah, well, you would that's... think if you were being shot at, you would take cover in all these trees and whatnot. Yeah. To try not to get hit. And that's where the shooters are at. Are you filming, sir? Yep. Uh, yeah. You need a killer's here, you pieces of crap. Despicable. Well, we're not even caving in. Hired thugs. What's that, car? Most likely. We're walking by some trees. I'm just curious, walk to the edge of How far down do you stuff? Yeah, pretty far down. But... Yeah, when we go down. Well, look at those trees. 
I bet I could almost guarantee you people were killed down there. That's a perfect hiding spot. Someone was shooting at you to go down there. Oh, yeah, just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. yeah, whether you were the shooter or the people getting shot at, you'd want to go down there. Poor people. I feel really bad for those people. Actually, now that you're actually here. Yeah. So let's hear it. With, while we're walking, Nick, what do you think about this, where we're at right now? Well, from a historical point of view, this place is really intriguing to me, and I, it's, it's really, it's awesome uh, from a historical point. Just to be walking here and to think about what happened here and how those people died and, and the story behind it, it's really interesting. From a paranormal perspective, it's, it's really crappy so far. Here's a forever, it's a loop. No. I think we should do some work here. Or maybe, I actually probably go back there where more of the metal was. Yeah. What is this, bathroom? It's that rock cairn. Like it's the, well, the grave site, yeah. Oh, the power box. The rock cairn probably is that centerpiece. Yeah. I actually, in my opinion, I think we should head back yeah. to the hills and to that ditch area. So Nick. So we're out here where these poor people were being shot at. You wanna? They had no chance with all these hills around us. Well, we're right out in the meadow, in the middle of the battlefield where the massacre occurred. And we're gonna see if we get any activity. Activity, any signs of any spirits here. So far the spirits are quiet. We have not heard one voice on the ovulisk and uh It's beeping pretty good right now. I mean I'll run an EMF real quick. Is there anybody out here that was murdered? Speak up. Supposedly there was um, bones of people all throughout this area. Nick, if you want, did you want to investigate in the meadow for a little while and then we'll go down by those big trees? Because yeah. those trees, you could tell, are pretty old. Yeah, well, of course, you're going to have to How far? We're in the center of the meadow right now, I think. Unless we head back this way a little more. Oh, cool. I think the, uh... the what? Oh, the air is squeaking there. Uh... Look straight ahead, there's one of those memorials it looks like out there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Let's go back to the memorial. So that way is the tree. That way is like the siege memorial. I almost wonder if we should, if there's a way to climb up to the tops of those hills by the siege memorial. The meadow's actually not very big, kind of, too. It's kind of hard. I don't know. Just a random mound of dirt. Did you want to try to do any AVPs, Nick, or you want to try to get out of the meadow first? Uh, there's some AVPs in the meadow. Let me stand over here. Let's get us both in the shot. Uh, there's anyone, oh, the trail's right there where the trees are. If anyone wants to make their presence known that we're walking in the field, give yeah. us a sign. I'm going to face the camera, Nick. If I just walked over an unmarked grave, Please give me a sign and tell me who you are. Say one of our names. Do you want us to get out of here? Look at that beeping, Nick. What's going on? It should be talking anytime soon. Are you one of the dragoons that came and rescued some of the people from this site?
What is your name? Where are you at? We demand you to make a noise for us. Has anyone else ever come out here looking for you? What's your opinion on Brigham Young? Do you know Brigham Young? I think we should do the... You want to just go there and then go yeah. over that way? Maybe we could try to get up in the hill where the shooters are at, possibly? Yeah. No, 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 no. Do you want to go up in the hills, or do you yeah. want to go to the where those big trees are? This is kind of crazy how it's like uh, open metal like this, though. I don't, it, well, uh, now we know that this is where they're being shot at. Here. That's yeah. kind of obvious. It's four people. people buried right into a wall. Yeah, I know. And uh, maybe, maybe they found peace. Maybe there's spiritual peace now. So. That's true. Or it's they're... like on a haunting where they're just um, walking behind a human. You know? So we were actually in the meadow. Walking on top of people. Yeah, good point. You think Brigham Young should. Those fuckers are getting some pliers. What do you think of Utah? This actually is a pretty good spot. If you think about it, a hundred people died in this little area, and the shooters. And all the people that were involved you didn't get anything so far. Oh. Nothing. Yeah, you would expect something here at, at Cold Creek. We got the fucking like that. Swat the demons around and run away. <laughs> like. The Siege Memorial. I'm guessing that the shooters must have been up here. That's the tallest mountain around here. The hill. Yeah. But. Are we going to break our next one? Yeah, probably. I'll do it. What do you think there must have been up there? I think there must have been up there and in like the trees and all that. Yeah, probably. They said there were 70 area. people that shot all of them. So where the hell would you hide? The only thing, the other thing I can think is they might be up in the hills where that other monument is. Like up back there. They're probably all around here. You can see where we're standing? Yeah. Because where we're standing, you can see where the memorial's at down there. That's where they said. A good majority of the people were buried, so but you if could... if the shooters were standing where we're at right now, they'd you, be out in the open, so they'd have to be hiding somewhere. You could easily pick them off. You want to go up here where Nick's at? Sure. <laughs> Looking up a steep mountain here. That doesn't look too tall so far. How far up does that go? How high up to Wendy? That's the top, Nick? You think that that would be a good spot to try something? Yeah. You want me and Tim to go up there? Is that the original one we went to the first time up on that hill way out there? Yeah, I'm wondering if, I don't think they would have been shooting from that far, would they? No. The memorials look pretty good right now. So what do you think, Drew? Um, it's hard to say, really. So far we haven't really caught anything, but this would be the site you would think it would have all the activity. There's Should kind of an odd smell right now. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna take out the ghost box here. Hey Nick. Yeah. 
It smells like gunpowder. Kind of does. Like right now where me and Tim are, it does smell like gunpowder. One of the shooters here with us. It smells like a metal, metallic, like copper type smell. Can you come out and say something? You guys were cowards what you did to those people down there. Look, they're just traveling over there. You just start shooting them. Really, guys? You're going to dishonor yourself by murdering these people for money? You need to explain yourself. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to do some, in do some investigation work on you. We just smelt gunpowder so we know you're here. Come out now. Yeah, I kind of smelt it a little bit too. It smells like gunpowder really strong right now. It's weird, honey. Like it's Like, it, it's, it's, it comes and goes, but we smelt it really strong for like a 15 or 20 seconds. Nick said he smelt something too. Like, look, you come on out of hiding. Tired of dealing with you. Come on, guys. I know you're out here. Watch out for that. Is that an anthill? No, it's a dung. Oh. Whoops, I didn't do it. What kind of gun did you use to shoot at the travelers? Oh my, I was trying to turn my ghost box, but the batteries are dead. It's weird because I just put fresh batteries in. How much money did you get paid to murder these people? Knowing these guys, they're too low. They probably got paid 20 cents to do so. Yeah, they probably betrayed these other uh, Christians for... Pennies on the dollar? Pennies on the dollar. Jesus was betrayed for a few pieces of silver. They uh, betrayed their fellow Christians for couple pennies probably okay. there is there are um attackers that were killed too because the settlers had guns shooting back at them so there's some of them are dead around here too yeah for good causes too did you die yeah. trying to attack these people what's that it smell funny but I might just put the box in the corner I want to get at least one voice on this. Yeah, yeah, we only got one voice. Sure this might cold. be the first time you have actually have not got anything on this. At a massacre burial ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the voice. monument, I thought it was like, all those, there's like 30 people buried there. Yeah. Nothing. If they're just not in the mood to talk tonight. There could be, they could just got on a weird boat too. I would come back out here, but I would um, wait a little while. Is that what you would do? Wait for it. You maybe wait for the end of the year. I know it'll be snowing out here then. You think it's a summer on this side? What time of the year was it? March when this happened? Uh, we'll find out right here. September. So in the flood in the winter. The tax began in September. I think it was even pre-Civil War. That's kind of crazy. So they rest in this field, so right in front of us is where they were all killed, for sure. Yeah, That's even a good ambush site right here, too. Yeah. Since we gotta leave in a few minutes, I don't want to climb up there. Though. Yeah. Wow. I thought we were gonna get a voice in the field, and I thought we were gonna get one on top of that. There's some more trees back there, even, too. Oh, no, it's more mountain for us. I'm just saying these trees are big, so I'm guessing these were probably there. They weren't that big, of course, but they probably were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, that's a pretty cool site, I think, though. Yeah. Like you said, just to experience it as a history.
How crazy would it be if we caught like spirits running through the meadow, Nick, on film? Yeah. That'd be nice. Should I light back up there, Jay? All right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say someone's lighting up over out there. We're some good, good flashes now. Any friends of Brigham Young over here? Any of his enemies? Come on, spirits, I invite you to talk to us. Where are you buried at? Tap. I could hear something like an animal or something. Make a tapping noise if you're here. You hear it, Nick? Is that the flag? Some kind of no, there's something moving down there. Rabbit. Spirit or mountain lion. Or Something like that, yeah. Something was moving around. Something was walking down there. Was that you? Tap on one of these trees as loud as you can. One for yes, twice for no. Yeah, I'm gonna go try this. Oh, that was nice. And that's pretty far dropped. So what is it? Are you aware that you're dead? Dude, I'm catching a fucking weird ass. Jeremy, check this out in my viewfinder. Nick, stay right there. Look in front of Nick's chest, Jared. See the white light? Mm -hmm. It disappeared. Oh my god, that was crazy. Did you see that, Jared? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're standing in front of me, touch me. I give you permission. Oh, it's back again. There you go. It's back. It's, dude, it's back again. Look, Jerry. Look, it came back and there's nothing it could be reflecting off of. I'm turning off my flashlight. so we Dude, that's crazy. Come on, touch me if you're standing right in front of me. Especially if you're one of those big bad shooters. Can that, you see Nick, Jerry? Uh, Do you I, see it? It's hard to see it from me. Look right there. It keeps coming, disappearing, coming back. Look, it's straight in front of Nick's chest. If you're one of those big bad shooters that... Uh, I'm going to come back in a second, I think. Or if you're a victim, just reach out to Digger me, touch my hand. Oh, yeah. Dude, Nick, whatever you're doing, you keep doing it, dude. There's this thing that keeps, like, disappearing and coming back right in front of you. Something actually is touching your elbow right now. Dude, it's right underneath your elbow, Nick. I can't tell if it's right next to you or in the distance, but something's right under there your arm. There is nothing. You want me, you want me to stand I, there and I, see I, if Nick could get it? Or do you I want feel, me to move? I can feel your presence a little bit. Look, there's, there is nothing in front of you, isn't it? Tell the camera, there's nothing in front of you that could reflect anything. Because he's on the edge of a huge dip. Yeah, there's like a 30 foot drop. So I'm just trying to debunk that it's for the. It's still there. Um, it just disappeared, but you I think want, it'll. You want me to stand there and have Nick look and see if I can find anything? Yeah, go walk exactly where Nick is at. Yeah, Unless you both want to. Okay. Yeah, Nick, and I'll rewind the footage well, and show you. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Standing with, and then I had my hand on this one to balance. That was crazy as hell, dude. You want me to try to run the obvious one more time over there? I can't believe we got didn't get shit. Oh, we got that weird light thing. All right, here I'm back. You were uh, touching me earlier. Now talk to me. This light's blinking real fast. I give you permission to talk to me and to touch me again. Hmm? What's it going on? Nothing's... The thing's not speaking, but I feel a warm presence near my hand. And it looks almost like there's some sort of... matter, I guess. Oh, it, it's nothing that can be really... Solidly proven, it's more just my personal opinion, but... Come on, speak to me. 
You were here with me five seconds ago. Who are you? Come back. I'm about to leave. So before I leave, tell the world what you think of Brigham Young. So I was asking you about him earlier and you, uh, What do you think of bring them in? You a friend or you an enemy? Why don't you bring the gunpowder smell back if you're here? Well, everybody, we're wrapping up our investigation here at the Meadow Mount Meadow Massacre site and. We had a couple of interesting things happen, but the ovulus didn't speak for once at all, which is surprising. And the EMF didn't really go off, so we didn't have a ton of activity. But a few interesting things did happen, and uh, Jeremy can explain those. Um, well, the only things that I could think of interesting that happened was, um, you'll notice on the footage that Nick was kind of reaching, holding on to a tree stump while he was talking. And there was like a weird light that was it almost looked like it would come and go underneath his underneath his arm. We tried to debunk this to see if it was the moon in the background, but we can't say one way or the other what that was. But something that is definitely paranormal that happened was um, at the siege site, uh, me, Tim, and Nick actually climbed one of the mountains to the top of the mountains where some of the shooters were sitting that assassinated these travelers. And we had a strange, powerful, almost like a metallic gunpowder type um, burning metal smell came came we came in like two or three whiffs for probably 15 or 20 seconds but we are literally in the middle of nowhere there's no towns anywhere near here and there's not really any explanation Nick do you want to explain what you thought the smell was like what did it, what did it smell like it was an odd metallic smell it sound it smelled like gunpowder essentially it smelled gunpowder before um, so yeah, when we were on a hill, which would be a perfect ambush spot, we did all, three of us did get a smell of gunpowder. Well definitely, this is Bigfoot's pad. We had another successful investigation tonight, even though we didn't catch that much, in, that much evidence. We will be back in the future. And again, I would just like for ever, all of our viewers to give a moment of silence to these travelers from Arkansas that were murdered in 1859 at this site. You guys walking back to the car? Yeah, I'm just running while we're walking. You know. See if anyone wants to give any shout outs real quick. <laughs> the brush must have been pretty thick down here. Imagine where we're walking, it was continued like this, so that's how thick it was. They could even hit here and shot it's this. It actually is a pretty sight, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it is beautiful. I guess another thing off your bucket list. More you massacres. To, to a, uh, a creek coming it says that there's water down there sometimes. Imagine after it gets done snowing. Steep this is a workout. <laughs> Alright, we just got back and uh, about to put the stuff away in the car. And we're saying oh, we didn't catch nothing and then all of a sudden we get this handprint on the car a, a really re well defined you could probably lift prints if you're a cop from these prints hand prints and i just want to put my hand down on the car next to it to see if it could even possibly be one of our hands because none of us have washed our hands since we got here and i mean right where nick put his hand right there that's one of the uh, you know if i but that doesn't look anything like that almost looks like your hand would have had to been muddy and wet to do that yeah like my hand couldn't i uh, i can't reproduce any pretty pretty interesting okay we're leaving if this was if this is a handprint 
Then by one of you guys, just talk to us. We we want we just wanted to talk to you. I know this might be a last ditch effort to leave us some kind of a sign before you leave, but we want a voice. I mean, we had the rock earlier, in an orb, the gunpowder. We've had different signs from you guys, but we need, we want a voice, and so does the world. So before I turn this off, for, for a, a long time, speak now or hold your peace. How's it flashing, dude? It's going fast, you know. Whatever it is, doesn't want to talk. But.